Chase Bliss Audio, one of the most exciting stops of the day. Joel. Hello. Thanks for stopping. Absolutely. We'll always be here. I haven't seen you for a while. I know. It's been a little too long. I'm really excited about what you got cooking up. Do you want to um, talk about it a little bit? So we showed this at the NAM show last year, but um, it was a prototype. And now we finally have the first production units for the Automaton preamp Mark II. Uh, it's going to be released in May. And then we also have a prototype for a collaboration we're doing with Maris, in, inspired by the Lexicon 224 reverb that, I, that is, I'm over the moon about. How did that collaboration come about? Did you guys know that you wanted to do something together and then you came up with the concept? Well, we've been talking about collaborating for probably four years. Okay. Like we just, and then, like we had all these different ideas. One we were kind of thinking about, but then uh, once the automaton, you know, once we debuted that, the NAMM show last year, uh, Terry was just like, are you thinking what I'm thinking? And it uh, showed me, uh, you know, one of the old pictures of the reverb, and I'm like, dude, we have to do that. great project to work on. It's kind of this amazing love fest. It's uh, kind of dedicated to producers and records that we love and working with Chase Bliss and Joel and Charlie's a team that we love. So uh, we've been having a great time working on this and we're happy to show it to everyone. So yeah, basically we have three modules. We got a, a room, a plate, and a yeah, hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of those uh, classic studio high fidelity reverbs. Yeah. We have, yeah, the room sound. Um, really great plate and then a hall and what's nice is you have the um, EQ set up with a, a cross frequency so you can like tune your bass and mid ratios for decays it's it's really great what we've noticed it's perfect for tailoring the decay of the reverb to your track 